Hey there, Mogi here. Today, uh, it was my 1,000 follower, what you call those celebration. So for that, I'm going to teach you how to navigate Lag 2D. First off, we're going to be starting with importing it. First off, we're going to open it. And here's my basic connotations, right? When you're going to be importing your Lag 2D, I want you to keep some important things, right? If it cannot import, right, it is either the layer mode that is affecting your Lag 2D uh, importing problems, right? Because if it's uh, other layers, then normal multiply or additive it will have problems and it will not be compatible so i suggest you go to your psd file and check if the layers are in mo normal multiply or additive if it's uh apart from that it will not work right and when you're thinking of your canvas size right as nobody talks about this uh, i'm referring to pixel size by the way so 2000 pixels by 2000 so basically that canvas size uses 200 to 300 megabytes of ram it's tiny and it's used by people who normally have just started Live 2D or trying to learn it. That or they have the free version. 4K by 4K, okay, smaller caliber models right there, like give or take chibis will normally use to buy that range, right? We have 8K by 6K, which uses 2 gigabytes or 20 gigabytes of RAM, depending on how, uh, how many deformers that you will have later on. 8K by 8K will use to 2 to 27 gigabytes of RAM. It's big but understandable because some models will have uh, bigger wings, right? Bigger tails or something like that that will take, you know, ne uh, nearly all of the canvas. You have 10K by 10K which uses uh, you know, 2 gigabytes of your RAM up to crashing your PC. So please be careful by 10K and 10K. 11K by 11K, 4 gigabytes. So you can smell your PC burning at this point, right? You are a menace to your computer. But basically those... Models are typically so big that you gotta have a lot of RAM for Live 2D. When you're uh, using Live 2D, it's only gonna be, to be using your RAM, so take note of that. Only use multiply and add both on your model as Live 2D only uses them. So for now, we're going to import our model here, right? Go to your downloads, right? And uh, you can just click and drag your Live 2D here. Right, these are the options. What they are referring to, right? 39 M 389 MB, megabytes, like that. That is referring to the uh, file size, both the file size and the RAM that it will eat. Right, this is the canvas size, and this is the RAM that it will eat. It, it will start to eat 389 megabytes, which is a lie because it will start off with an even bigger than number than that. Right, so I'm going to import it, wait for it, right. Common things to note, if you're going to import Live 2D, you're going to have your back paper, right? I want you to delete that because that uses the most amount of RAM. If you delete that, it eases it, about it a bit, right? So if I were going to be opening my taskbar, right, and I'm going to see my RAM, it instantly ate like uh, 3 gigabytes of my RAM, right? This is Java. This is your Live 2D, right? So for that one, now, you have your model. You have imported it, right? You want to import, right, what some, what you call this thing? Some... Uh, PNG, right? Uh, typically, you can just, for example, like Photoshop, uh, screenshot this, right? Oops, I copied it instead of saving it, right? And go to your file to open it, right? Scroll down below, just click and drag here. It's going to give you two options texture or guide image. Just put it into texture, right? Okay. And uh, click the file that you're going to be importing it to, which would be this one, which is Pyolite, and click OK. Add all layers as new art mesh, right? Don't replace, because basically replace means anything that has the same name as this, it will be replaced, right? So we have our screenshot here, uh, for for your purposes, which can either be your references, right? Oh yeah. Uh, apart from that, when you're going to import your Live 2D now, this is your Live 2D, the next thing that you're going to be doing it, right? is you want to check for your, your things, right? Typically, you can check your things by model statistics. Currently, your model has 139 art meshes. Whatever art meshes you have here right now is your layer number. So it has 139 layers, which by my presumption, right, I was assuming 100 layers, would eat 2 to 20 gigabytes of your RAM because it was, say, uh, 4K by 7K. So we can see that uh, it was right around that ballpark that I was right, right? Okay, next up, we're going to talk about how we had finished the importing parts of Live2D. You can now import your images, your PNGs, your model PSDs, and the common pitfalls against them, right? If you have problems with importing Live2D, even if you have changed the layers, right? I am going to suggest you to use, uh, what you call this thing, 
use either Psy or Clip Studio, right? Uh, open your file there, uh, save it as the PSD, right? Save it as Clip, then save that Clip as a PSD, then you can hopefully, what you call this thing, open your file in Live 2D. Assuming that you have also removed the other file types you have on your model.